Hi friends, uh, in this video I am going to share with you three common mistakes that IAS aspirants should avoid in the run up to their preparation to the prelims, especially during the times like uh, Corona. Okay, and uh, here I am Vinay Kumar, International NLP and IAS coach. Uh, for more than 15 years now. In the last one month, my dear friends, I have been getting a lot of messages from students across India asking me, you know, uh, questions like, sir, I am not able to study, uh, thinking that uh, exam is going to get postponed, I am not uh, able to focus well and uh, stuff like this. So I felt, my dear friends, I will have to reach out to as many IAS aspirants as possible and help them with at least three common mistakes that most IAS aspirants uh, would be committing and probably couldn't have even come into their attention or their consciousness that they would be committing these mistakes. So I thought I'll share these three mistakes with you. Uh, mistake number one, my dear friends, thinking too much that exam is going to get postponed. Please don't commit this mistake, my dear friends. You know, there are three uh, problems associated with committing this one mistake. One. When you start thinking too much that exam is going to get postponed, the spirit, what we call as the uh, preparation spirit for the exam and the intensity of preparation will come down my dear friends, which is not at all good. After all this exam is all about how we can keep our spirit high and how we can have higher level of intensity of preparation throughout. Both these things coming down in itself means we have lost the track my dear friends, fair enough. Second uh, problem that is associated with this one mistake is <clears throat> what is happening my dear friends? You are not just keeping this to yourself. You are spreading this to others. You are calling your friend and you know you are checking with him, asking him or her that hey is the exam going to get postponed and all that. When you do things like this you are not just jeopardizing your preparation. You are bringing down the motivation levels and urgency of preparation of some other person as well. Hampering his or her preparation. So please don't do this my dear friends. And three, the most important uh, uh, factor, you know, that will come into picture when you start thinking too much on whether the exam will get postponed is, there are, <laughs> there are innumerable number of gratifications and distractions that could have come in your way of preparation and to all of them you would have said, shh, be, be in one side. Till the exam gets over, till the prelims and means gets over, you relax. You would have told to all of these gratifications and distractions. Now that your energy, your spirit and your intensity comes down, you will become an easy prey to these gratifications and distractions. Once you become vulnerable in this way and start losing focus, you know very well where you are going to end up my dear friends. Yes or no? Isn't it my dear friends? This is the first mistake that you should avoid. Thinking too much on whether the exam is going to get postponed. If exam is going to get postponed, let it be. For now, we think and we assume that it's going to happen on May 31st and we're going to do a preparation thinking that it's going to happen on that time. Fair enough, my dear friends. Second mistake that you should avoid. Succumbing to negativity and pessimism, spreading the same. I know, my dear friends, you are alone at your homes. Yeah, all these, while you were at study centers, you had people around you studying, so you just studied. I mean, without uh, having to uh, get into negativity, get into any form of pessimism and all that, my dear friends. I know very well, when you are alone, you are prone, you are vulnerable to a lot of negative thoughts, negative feelings and all that. Will the exam happen this time? I have still so much to accomplish. Will I have not done CSAT. Oh, I have still to do a lot in current affairs section. These kind of things are very, very common to every aspirant. Whenever these kind of thoughts come, remember, use a proper language to handle them, my dear friends. Don't succumb to them. And you having succumbed to it, don't spread it. Don't start calling people and also, you know, instilling this fear in them. Fair enough, my dear friends. This is the second mistake that you have to avoid. And the third mistake, very, very important mistake that people do, people do, especially during times of Corona, don't, uh, being reactive, my dear friends, they react. I know my dear friends for a fact that you are all at home and you are all uh, watching a lot of online stuff and there is so much of resources out there in online. Every institute comes up with its own uh, uh, huge content of notes and all these things, test papers and all that. I uh, pray to you my dear friends, you know this exam is quite a simple exam. All it needs is to uh, 
uh, you know all it needs is for you to read some books properly and systematically my dear friends with, with within the stipulated time it's as simple as that okay and you have to read the newspaper regularly and properly make sense of it got that now right yeah problem of plenty you must have heard of my dear friends you succumbing to this problem is very high during these times so what i want to request all of this don't react by going and uh, uh, subscribing to every uh, what do you call content or every resource that you see may help you in some way or the other and by doing that you are actually ending up in problem of plenty my dear friends be proactive think of what exactly needs to be done have a proper time table routine to be able to do it and whatever you have read once revise it five times my dear friends and recall it that's what is going to give you success in the exam fair enough my dear friends so to hack this being the three mistakes i can also see a lot of other mistakes that aspirants can do my dear friends based on the messages the queries the doubts and all that that i've got from uh, students across india so to handle this all i'm going to come live on april 2nd at 4 pm my dear friends almost for an hour i'm going to be there with you i'm going to handle most of your problems that you are facing during the uh, uh, corona times in your exam preparation my dear friends fair enough so uh, thank you all so much for watching this video and uh, see you all on uh, april 2nd at 4 pm handling all your problems and ensuring that you have fantastic success in the prelims to come thank you all so much my dear friends